Today we are attempting to hike Mount Tecumseh, elevation 4,003 feet, in the Waterville Valley area, in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. I've done this before, hence because it's New Hampshire 4K and I've done all of them. But I have work at three, and it turns out an errand that I had to run later in the day, I didn't have to do. So I figure why not come here? If you make it to the top, this will be the 12th New Hampshire 4K that I've revisited. Anyway, up we go. Once again, this hike is beating the heck out of me. I like camels on the old spec. They're short ones too. But I believe at the approximate halfway point of the way up, we'll dip down, cross the Cumsa Brook, and then come to a spur path to a viewpoint that's located on one of the Waterville Valley ski slopes. Unless something interesting happens, I'll meet you over there. Man, now this is a nice view. And that's Osceola over there. Over there are the tri pyramids. Funny, I've, not, I've actually never actually set foot on a ski slope when it's in uh, operation over the winter season. Hey, yep, pretty sure there'll be a better view from the summit, even more since. A couple of years ago, it was viewscaped, although illegally. And the only time I hiked this mountain is before the viewscaping, so that summit result will be new to me. Anyway, let's tackle this steep section. This is the steep part I mentioned earlier. Trust me, it's steeper than it looks on camera. Camera doesn't do it justice. This is where the bulk of the vertical gain comes. Just gotta take it easy. I'm still trying to chug along. And we'll get up this thing eventually. Trail's kind of leveling off a bit. I can tell. Because there are no sled tracks, just footprints. But I don't think this will be the case for long. Because you still got like eight, nine hundred feet more elevation gain until we hit the ridge crest. Anyway, I'll meet you farther up this pitch. All right, ever since that last clip I took, the trails had a fairly steady, moderate grade. It's nice. I know one thing though, there's gonna be some insane butt sliding coming down this particular section of trail. All right, it just got significantly steeper, as you can hopefully see. In fact, I think this may be, I'm trying to get my footing here, the steepest part of the whole thing thus far. Maybe even the steepest part of the whole hike overall. But on the other hand, I think we're making the final push to the ridge crest, and therefore the junction with the Sosman Trail. Unless something interesting happens, I'll meet you there or pretty darn close to it. All right, we've reached a junction with the Sosman Trail. That's the way we just came up. Hard to believe you've only been hiking for less than an hour and 15 minutes. And the Mount Tecumseh and Sosman Trails coincide along the ridge crest, tenth of a mile or two to a fork. Then they diverge, but they both eventually go to the summit. I gotta take the one that's broken out the most since I don't have snowshoes with me. Anyway, man, sorry to interrupt, but this is some seriously nice ridge walking. You better than winter to winter up. Anyway, I'll meet you at the split, assuming nothing interesting happens. All right, we're at the split. See, strangely enough, you can either get this summit by going up or down. I went this way last time, so I gotta change it up and go this way this time. It's, they're pretty much evenly broken out, so 
I might make an extremely mini lollipop hike out of this and go back down the Sausman Trail. Anyway, I'll meet you at the summit of Mount Tecumseh. We're pretty close to it. All right, here's something interesting. A view out toward what I believe to be... I don't know if that's Sandwich Mountain or not, that mountain right there. So I'm not going to say whether or not it is. I do know that's one of the upper termini of the uh, Waterville Valley Ski Area. Nice. Onward to the summit of Tecumseh, we go. Alright, the track unfortunately ends here. And it's drifted in from here to the top, I'm pretty sure. Looks like no one's been here in forever. So, anyway, I am going to stop recording for now and try and get through this drifted in mess. I'll meet you at the top of Mount Tecumseh. Did it. There's a cairn. We're standing on the top of 4,003 foot Mount Tecumseh in the Waterville Valley area of the White Mountains of New Hampshire. Man, the viewscaping really made the views a lot better, although for the wrong reason. I mean, look at that view over toward uh, the Osceola's. You can clearly see Mount Washington presidential range. So there you think is the Tri-Pyramids and Scar Peak. I think over there might be the Sleepers, I'm not sure. Or Sandwich Mountain, one of the two. Down there is the town of Waterville Valley. Yeah. Very short. This is all I had enough time to do since I have work at three. I gotta be home to shower up. I can't have to go to work looking like this. And, but it wasn't easy, especially going up the steep part. But I did it. I'm here. Winter 4K number six, I believe. Uh, though I'm not seriously going for that list. New England 67 is more my forte. I see the sign from that was here in 2012 is still here. Looks like there's tracks or something going down toward Tripoli Road. Good luck getting back to your car uh, via that way. Just an awesome way to spend the morning before work on top of a freaking 4,000 footer. Anyway, so far so good. I am going to take a breather up here, water break, hydrate for the way down, and I'll meet you at the trailhead assuming nothing interesting happens. I do this all the time during the winter. And I never get it on film. Yeehaw! But sliding, or the technical term, glissading. Wasn't that awesome? All right. We're back at the trailhead at the Waterville Valley Ski Area parking lot. Overall, I have to say, this is an awesome way to spend the morning before work, or just the morning in general. On top of a freaking 4,000 footer, particularly one that I haven't climbed in almost three years. And the view from the top, I was not expecting it to be that clear. Sad it was for the wrong reason. But hey, I'll take it. So, round trip distance was Five miles and I think 2,200 feet of elevation gain. And it took about uh, two hours, 20 minutes car to car, which is well over book time, which I'm happy about. So from the Waterville Valley Ski Area slash Mount Tecumseh Trailhead and Mount Tecumseh, I will see you on my next adventure.